It's time for a little history lesson on shares of JP Morgan and why you need to be aware of this. Very, very, very important. Let's uh, have a look at this chart here. I made two charts. The first chart is basically JP Morgan in the candlestick chart, and then I put the uh, shares or the price um, of the S&P 500. And you can see, and if, unfortunately, I wasn't able to scale it properly, but you can see it moves up and down together. JP Morgan goes up if the S&P goes up. The S&P goes down. JP Morgan goes down. Keep that in mind. If we then draw just a couple of lines going back to the 1970s, so that's 50 years of price action, 50, 5 zero. Um, we can get a good sense of what this looks like. And what I want to point your attention to is uh, the most recent line that we're now getting up to. And um, this most recent uptrend has now been in place for <clears throat> about 12 years, 12, 13 years. So again, you can see the history. It's very clear. If you now look at JP Morgan and you look at, again, this is super simple. All we're doing is drawing, trying to connect as many points as possible. So I decided to kind of start connecting these, this, this resistance area here at all these points along the way. This is a weekly chart because obviously this, this alone here is 12 years, 12, 13 years worth of history. So uh, you have to use a weekly chart. But you can see, and again, this is not the point isn't to be exactly right to the to 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 the dollar here, that we're once again getting real close to the very upper end of this line. And to me, that is concerning, thus also for the broader equity market. Two things. First of all, notice this is a weekly chart. This is a 12-year, 13-year chart. So I'm not calling for an equity market top right here today. I think there's actually quite a bit of momentum that could last a bit longer here this year. But I would like everyone to not forget this chart <clears throat> as a, as a uh, <clears throat> someone who has JP Morgan as their alma mater. I can tell you that's something that I used to watch very, very closely. I still watch it very, very closely. And the fact that JP Morgan is once again at this point, um, you combine that with all sorts of valuation metrics to me, it tells me that starting next year in 2025, we're probably going to start to have, finally, a different equity market. For how long? I don't know. But last time the S uh, JP Morgan got to these levels, remember, it takes a while. It can go along these levels for, you know, six, seven months for the under this resistance line. But ultimately, <clears throat> that led uh, to a 40% decline in shares of JP Morgan and obviously, you know, a pretty decent pullback in the S&P 500. So I think this is something to seriously ponder about, think about what could this mean for you and your portfolio. See you again soon.